Welcome to the Fox 56 High School Sports Extra. Brought to you by St. Auto. Welcome to the Fox 56 High School Sports Extra Semi-Finals right. Edition. I'm Dan Reefer. He's Brian Milam. We begin with Lexington Catholic trying to get over the hump against Highlands. Tonight, the fourth straight year these two meet in the semis. Bluebirds won the previous three. Yeah, Highlands history is a bit mind-blowing and beautiful to look at. This program has not had a losing season since 1955 <laughs> and has won at least three state titles per decade for six consecutive decades and that includes this current one we're in right now unreal would the knights have an answer in fort thomas this evening first quarter catholics reese ryan drops back throws to jj Ogmugu. and the knight strike first unlike last year at seven nothing but here come the bluebirds they march right down the field bo hodge takes the quarterback draw into the end zone we're knotted up at seven apiece second quarter knights trail 21 7 but threatening ryan Oh, look at that. Oh. His pass is picked oh. right in, close to the end zone by Jacob No, That would lead to another score, 28-7. Fighting back. Here comes Ryan. Finds Andy Thompson. That little guy is tough. He is. Touchdown. Hard. But Catholic would play from behind all night. Highlands ends like scat season again, 47-26. Highlands will face the Owensboro Red Devils in the 4A championship. Good run by Lexington Catholic seniors, winners of four consecutive region titles. Look at Highlands, 29th state championship appearance, and that doesn't count. They're mythical titles from a long time ago. Let's go to Class 5A. Pulaski got to the championship game last season, came up short against Bowling Green, but the Purples are no longer playing as Graves County knocked them off 7 nothing last week. Yeah, and that's right. The team's Bowling Green beat to win the last two state championships. Pulaski County and Cooper meeting tonight in Somerset to decide which one will have another crack at a state title against someone other than Bowling right. Green. A chilly one is Coach Hines trying to get his Maroons back to the state final. <laughs> First quarter, no score. Jalen Conwell gets the carry for Pulaski. Looks like he's wrapped up, right? Oh, no. He's got it on spin cycle for an 18-yard gain. And in the beginning of the second quarter, same drive, senior Caleb Cox, untouched for 29 yards. Maroons get the offense started and take a 6-0 lead. Your yeah. eyes like it, yeah, yeah. Two minutes later, still second quarter. Maroons have the ball at Cooper's 44. Riley Hall, Mason Helton down the middle, 44-yard touchdown. Pulaski County took a 12-0 lead, and the Maroons are headed back to Bowling Green with the 33-7 win. Pulaski County will face Graves County Unreal. in the 5A state championship next Friday at 7 Eastern, 6 Central. And that means one of those two is going to get their first football state title. That's right. No Williams, Mark Yellow Jackets <laughs> are going back to the Class A state championship game, beating Raceland tonight 34-8. It'll be a rematch with Mayfield next Saturday at noon Eastern. That's 11 a.m. Central. So let's switch over to hoops now. The Joe B. and Denny Bluegrass Showcase yep. at Dunbar tonight, featuring some of the top prospects in the country. Including Caleb Swanigan of Homestead High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Swanigan already has an offer from Kentucky. A lot of people on hand to see him play tonight. Homestead against Curry out of Chicago. There's Swanigan. He had some high-profile visitors. How about John Calipari along with Auburn head coach Bruce Pearl? Swanigan struggled tonight, though. Just 3 of 11 from the field. No field goals in the second half. Had 14 points and 12 rebounds. Nice post move there. But Swanigan's team loses 49-36. He drew at least three defenders nearly every time he touched the ball in the post in the second half. Uh, Caleb was getting double and triple team. He needs to get rid of the ball. 